good morning today we will discuss how to print a patent and that is the patent of that is happy new year so how to do that particular thing that we will discuss today for example suppose if you think that sir i want to print edge first then how we can print the edge so it is very simple you just need to first work on paper that how a edge will print like so very simple you can just print that a star on paper and you will be able to identify that the star is printed on which i and on which j as we discussed earlier you can say that this one two three four five you can say that this is i it is i and you can say this is the one two three four five it will be j why because this one two three four five is the column and this one two three four five is the row right so what we want very simple <clears throat> we want the output like this so what i will do first very simple i will first draw a square of five by five right so first simple you just need to do very simple just get the square so you can just declare variable i and j for i equal to one I less than or equal to five i plus plus for j equal to one j less than or equal to five j plus plus you can print star and after each i so for each row you will print the line so what happened in this particular case it will print a square so we don't want the square we want the edge but once you get the square now you people will be able to identify that i want the star if and only if my j is one right this is my j so if my j is one then i want the star if my j is five then i want the star if my i is three then i want the star so if you write simple three condition over here and that is the condition will be what i want to display this star if and only if that if my j equal equal one or j equal equal five then print star else simply print a space so what happened in this particular case if my j is one if my j is five then it will print the star otherwise it will not print anything so i will get the two vertical lines see here i'm getting the two vertical lines that is j is one and j is five now very simple if i is a three then print the line so if i is a three then i want to print the line so i will just put here one or condition or i equal equal three then print the line so very simple i am getting here edge right so this is the way you can get the edge now suppose if you think that sir i want the a now whenever you discuss about a you just need to understand that how we can get the triangle that is a pyramid type of triangle because once you get the pyramid type of triangle then you can convert your triangle into a right so i have a same thing over here for example see i have one more paper and this paper is four that is a triangle so now what we want to do we want a left aligned triangle first and then in left aligned triangle i want to draw a right so i want the output like this that is the star over here then star over here then i want the star over here then now i want the star over here 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 and we want the star at this particular place so you people will get the idea that i want the a but before you want the a like this first you just need to convert your triangle into pyramid so very simple it is you can take one more loop over here that is for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus 
Now you can just go for j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 5, j plus plus. This is what we discussed in our last lecture. So I'm just simply printing star. I'm printing here slash n. And you all know that what happened in this particular case that it will print the left aligned triangle. But we don't want, see, uh, right now it is printing only square. Why? Because I'm running up to 5. If I say that running up to less than or equal to i, then it will print the left aligned triangle. But I don't want the left aligned triangle. I want the space over here. So I'm simply writing that is k equal to i, k less than or equal to 4, k plus plus. So you all know that first time it will take 4 space, then 2, 3, then 2, and then 1. I de definitely need to declare the variable k. So, whenever you run this, now you people will be able to see that the shape, that is a pyramid shape is coming over here. Now, I don't want this particular star and I don't want this three star. Right. So, how we can do the same? Very simple. If you want to do like this, now you need to write the condition. If i is equal to 5, then this. Right. But if i is not 5, then what you want to do? So you can write a one condition over here that is in a J that if, for example, my I is not equal to 5. Now, if I is not equal to 5, then what we want to do? So let me come to the paper. If I is not 5, right, it means I want at the fifth line, I want only two star. So if I is not 5, then I just want to check. What is the value of i? So i is at my 3, right? i is my 3 and if my j is 2, then I want to print the space. Otherwise, I don't want to print the space. So what we can do over here, if i not equal to 5, then just check. If i equal equal 3 and j equal equal 2. So what happens? See, if my j is 2, right? j is 2 and i is 3, then I will print the space over here. So, if i equal to 3 and j equal to 2, then print the space. Now, what happens? See, whenever you write like this, you can just check what happened to your program. Very simple, but this particular triangle, see here, the star is not printing. Why? Because I am printing the space over here. And here, I am simply writing that else simply print what we want to print that is else print the star so i don't want to print a star over here so if i not print the star then what happens see if you run this particular program again yes i need to write the semicolon over here okay so this is the semicolon is required over here once you pass the semicolon then you can run build and run see what happened it is displaying See what I did. If i is not equal to 5, then I am checking is i equal to 3. If i equal to 3 and j equal to 2, then put the space. So I just put the space over here. The remaining is as it is. Now, the task is very simple. Why? Because I just cut this particular star. Right. So I cut this only one star. Now, I, I want to cut all this three star in the fifth row if i is equal to five then what happens see right so if i equal equal five then we will write the simple condition that if i equal equal five and if j equal equal one why because see if the i is five then j will be your one so if i is five and j is one or if your j is equal to equal to i, it means if your i is 5, then your j also will be 5, right? Why? Because it is a 5 by 5. This is just a space. So very simple. If j equal to equal to 1 or j equal equal i, then I want to simply print a star. Otherwise, I don't want to print anything. 
So what happened in this particular case, you will be able to see that that the thing is going on. But what happens? See, if I is not equal 5, then this will run. If I equal to 5, then this will run. But whenever I equal to 5, right, at that particular time, this will definitely not run. But if I not equal to 5, I want that this particular loop should be continue. Why? What happens? See, here you have written else. So what happened if this particular condition is not true, right, then it will check into this. If this condition is also not true, then it will run the else. So we have the two different if condition. One is this, right, and another one is this. What happened in our case? This should be run or this should be run. Right now what happened? This condition is run first. This condition is run first. For example, i is equal to 4, then this will be run. But if i equal to 4, then this if condition will not run, but your else will run. So this else is making the difference into the output. So what we need to do, until and unless my i not equal to 5, I don't want to give, I want don't want to go into this particular case. So what to do in this particular case, you can simply write that is continue. So what continue will do? If I not equal to 5, then it will continue with the loop. If I not equal to 5, then it will continue with the loop. If I not equal to 5, then it will be continue with the loop. And as a result, you will get the A. You can also try, for example, suppose if you think that, sir, I want to use else if. Can I? So if I not equal to 5, then check. If I not equal to 5, then check. Is I equal equal 5, right? So if I equal to equal to 5 and J equal to equal to 1, then you can give the else. You can try this particular thing. This will also work, right? So if you don't want to write the continue over here, then you can go for if else if later. Now students, what happened? The people will ask you that I don't want the A over here. I want the A here. That is uh, after H, I want to print the A over here. Then how to do? Very simple. You can write this particular your for loop inside your I. You can simply cut this and you can paste into this. Right. Now here, you can simply print that this is A. You here, you can simply print that this is, this is H. Now you can simply run this particular code and you will be able to see that this is H and this is A. Now I want the P over here, right? So now onwards, see, every letter other than A are not complicated. A is little bit, why? Because we need to write, convert our left aligned triangle into, that is a, pyramid and then we need to cut the character right now if you want to print a p it is very simple if you want to print a p then you just need to first work on paper for example star 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 now i want a five star that is i right so here you can just check that this is i and this is j so how we can do if i is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It means if i is 1, then print this. If j is 1, then print this. So you can first work with this particular thing. That if i is 1 and if j is 1, then print this particular thing. So how we can do this? Very simple. In the same 4i, we can write the 4j. So we can write j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus now instead of printing directly star we will simply write here if i equal equal one or j equal equal one if i equal equal one or j equal equal one then print the star else no need to print anything right you can just build and run now but what happens see is it this particular space is, it makes the difference, right? So we need to give the proper spacing over here. 
So we can run the same loop of space we run for A that we can run over here before printing this. Now what happened? It will remove this space issue. So whenever you run this, now you will be able to see that H A. Now see what happens. See, we need to put the space over here also. Right. So whatever we put here space that I put the space over here also. So I'm getting the proper result. So what I did simple. See, I printed the vertical line and I printed the horizontal line. Now, whenever you want to print a P, you need to print here also a line. So you can say that if I equal to three, then print this line. Right. So whenever you write if I equal to three. So, I need to just add one condition. If I equal to 1 or J equal to 1 or I equal to 3. If I equal to equal to 3, then it will print the line over here. See, the line is printed over here. Now, I want to print a star over here. But if you say that if J equal to 5, then it will print the wall line. So, you just need to do what? If J equal to 5 and j equal to 2 then you can print this or you can say if j equal to 5 and i is less than 3 then print this right so what we can do simple or right so whenever you are going for that is a p you just need to understand that we need to print this particular star right so for this particular star you can write the condition or you can simply write here that is if i equal to 1, i equal to 3 or if j equal to equal to 5 and i less than or equal to 3. See here, if j equal to 5, yes j is 5 and i is less than 3, then print the star. So this star will be printed over here and you can get the result that your p will be Right. Now, if you want to print a P again, so you just need to copy this. Now, what happens? See, if you copy this for loop with A, that is a spacing for loop. See, this is the space management of A. So, if you copy this particular, then your P will not look proper way. Right. So, we don't want this type of P, that is a italic P. We want the regular P. So what we can do? We can simply remove this for loop. Why we added this particular for loop? Simple. To manage the A's spacing. Right. We put it the space over here to print the P. And same applies to print the another P. But the difference is we don't need to put a space over here. So if you don't put the space, then your P will be displayed over here. Why I written the k equal to i to 4? Because I given earlier a 4 space over here. So I need to give the 4 space again to print the regular p. But here I don't need to give any space. And that is the reason why I am not writing the k equal to i over here. So this is all about a h double p. Now I want to print a y. So whenever you want to print a y, you just need to understand that how to print the y. And what is the value that we need to put in a Y? So very simple. See, this is happy H A double P. Now I want to print a Y. So where we can put the star? That is here. Then we can put the star over here. Then we can put a star over here. Then here. Then here. Here. And then here. So we want the y like this, right? Exactly uh, inside of this is after h a double p. I want the y that is over here, and the shape should be look like this. So how we can do this? Again, it is very simple. You can write another loop to print the y. So here you can just put the command that is print y. Now, whenever you want to print a y, you can take one more loop over here. That is j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 5, j plus plus. Now, here you can simply print the star if it is required. So, you can get the idea that what it is doing. 
whenever you print the star you will be able to see that that after h a double p i print i printing the first that is a square from this square i want the y that is this this and this so i don't want the rest stars so what we can do in this particular case we can write the condition if i equal equal one why because see here if i is one right and j is one or five then print the star so this star will be printed so i'm simply writing here if i equal to one and and if j equal equal one or j equal equal five then print the star if it is not then simply print the space so i'm simply writing here else print f space so what i did simple i just printed a two stars over here so you will be able to see that one star and another star so now this is the result c you can get the idea over here that i'm getting the two star that is the one star and one star it means if i equal to one and j equal to one then print the star if i equal to one and j equal to five then also print the star now i want to go for this two particular star so what we can do in this particular case simple if my i is two why because this is i so if i is two and j is two then print the star if i is two and j is four then print the star so you will get the better idea of if condition that if this is i right so if i is two and j is two then print the star if i is two and j is four then print the star so what we can write over here simple condition that is or or is what or i equal equal to and if i is 2 then check is j equal to equal to 2 if yes then print the star or j equal to equal to 4 if yes then print the star so what happened in this particular case you will get the idea that i am getting exactly the output that i want see here if you look carefully then you will getting that this particular space this particular shape right that is a uh, that is one star one star one star one star now i just want to put the star over here if i is greater than or equal to three so i need to write the condition if i is greater than or equal to three and this j is also a three right so if j is three and i is greater than or equal to three then print the star else i don't need to print the star so very simple you can write the condition over here or that is i greater than or equal to three and j equal to equal to three see this is your j right so if j is a three and i is greater than or three then print the star so you will be able to see that I'm getting exactly the same output that I want that is happy. Now I want to move towards the new. Suppose if you think that, sir, I printed the happy, it is good and I am happy for this. Now I want to put a new over here that is in the next line, I want the new. But that L should be started from this below A, right? And that below A, I want the N, E and W I want. So how we can do this? Very simple. Whenever you want to print N, first you need to work on the paper. So I will work on the paper. That is, this is my J variable and this is my I variable. Now I want to print N. So whenever you want to print N, you just need to write here star first. So definitely you all know that I need a line that is a j equal to 1 and j equal to 5. So if you print this, that is j equal to 1 and j equal to 5, then definitely your 
two particular vertical line that is this line and this line will be displayed i just need to write the condition if j equal to 1 then print if j equal to 5 then print but i want the star over here also that is like this so it will be looking like n so here you can see carefully if I, j equal to 1 then print the star if j equal to 5 then print the star now here see if j is 2 then i is 2 then print the star if j is 3 i is 3 print the star if j is 4 i is 4 print the star so my condition will be what very simple if j equal to 1 if j equal to 5 so if j equal to 1 or 5 print the star or if j equal equal i then print the star you will get the n so n printing is very easy how to print this let's see now the question is where you want to print this so after this loops i want to print a new line so i'm just printing slash n slash n two times after this i want to write one more loop for i equal to one less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. Now, I am writing j equal to 1, j less than or equal to, that is 5, j plus plus. So, after this every i, I will print slash n. Now, here I am simply printing a star. So, you people will be getting that. I am getting the square over here. So, whenever you print this, you will be able to getting that the square is printed over here but i don't want the square i want the n so how we can convert the square into n it is very simple here you can write the condition that if j equal equal 1 or j equal equal 5 or i equal equal j then print the star Else, I don't want to print the star, but I want the space to manage everything. And you will be able to see that I'm getting the happy and then N. But I don't want N over here. Before N, I want the space. Exactly up to H, I want the space. So before N, you want the space. Then you can write one more loop over here. That is 4, K equal to 1 k less than or equal to 5, k plus plus, and you can print space over here. So what happened in this particular case, you will be able to see that I am getting the n, but I am not getting the n exactly below the a. Why? Because I need to put the two character space over here. So whenever you put the two character space, you will be able to see that the n is exactly below the a. Right. So, happy and n is printed. Now, I want to print e. So, whenever you want to print e, you just need to first work on paper. So, this is your j. This is your i. I want the star over here. That is, if i equal to 1, then print the star. If i equal to 3, then print the star. If i equal to 5, then print the star and if j equal to 1 then print the star so the condition will be what if i is 1 if i is 3 if i is 5 then print the star or j is 1 then print the star so very simple in case of e so we can just copy this particular thing and we can paste over here now, this is not the character that is n, but this is the character e. So, I need to just make the changes into the condition. If i equal equal 1, why i equal equal 1? Because if i is 1, then I want to print this. Or i equal equal 3, or i equal equal 5, then you can print the star. So, what happened in this particular case, you can just check over here that I am getting the E but I want the line over here so I, I, I need a 2 star over here also. So you can write simply condition or J equal equal 1 
and print the star. So as a result, you will get happy and an E. But here we want the some space between N and E. So if you need a space between any character, then you can write a case loop before E. So you will get the proper spacing. So I'm writing here K less than or equal to 2. And as a result, you will be able to see that I'm putting some space over here, right? If you don't want to put multiple space, then you can write less than or equal to 2, but you can write up to two spaces. So what I can say, H A double P Y happy and E. Now I want the W over here, right? So whenever you want a W to be printed over here, how we can do this particular thing? So whenever you want to print the W, let me do the same thing on the paper. So how we can print the W? Simple. We can first write if J equal to one. Right? This is my J. So if J equal to 1, then print the star. If J equal to 5, if J equal to 5, then print the star. This is your I. So if I is greater than 3, then you can write the condition over here and you can put the proper spacing and star, then you will get the W. So how to write the code for the W? It is very simple. See, we can write the condition that if that is my j equal to 1 or j equal to 5, then print the star. So, I will first work with that particular thing. So, very simple. After this n and e, here you can put the comment. So, you will get the idea. This is printing n. This is e. Now, this code is printing W. So how we can put the W? Simple. You can just copy this respective code, paste, but I don't want to put right now any condition so you people will be getting the idea that it is printing the square over here. Now from this square, I want the W like this. So in this square, I want to draw a W. So very simple, once you get the square, you can write the condition. If j equal equal 1 or j equal equal 5, then print the star, else I don't need to print anything. So I'm just simply printing a space and you people will be able to see that. See here, n, e. I'm getting the two vertical bar over here. Now I want to print the star over here, here. So I will get the W, right? So how to do this? So first you can just work on the paper. Once you get this, now you can write the condition. If I is my 3, see, this is my I. So if I is 3 and if this J is 3, right? Even you can, uh, if you want this line, so you can write the condition. If I is greater than or equal to 3 and if I and J are equal, then print this. So you will getting this, you will be able to get this particular line. So the condition is very simple. If I is, so or I greater than or equal to 3 and I equal equal J. So here, see carefully. If I is greater than 3, then, and then it will work over here, right? So if I is greater than 3, and i and j are equal, it means i is 3, j is 3, then print the star. If i is 4, j is 4, then print the star. If i is 5, then j is 5, then print the star. So this line will be drawn over here if i is greater than or equal to 3. So if i is greater than or equal to 3 and i equal equal j, then draw the line. You people will be able to see that I am getting here a line. Now I need to draw a star over here. So how we can draw this? Very simple this is, if i is my 4, right, and j is 2, I want to print this particular star. So condition is very simple. If i is 4 and my j is 2, then print the star. So you can write the condition over here. We want to print the star if, if i is, that is equal equal 4 and j equal equal 2. 
So now you people will be able to see that it is printing that is happy new. So now my happy new is printed over here. Now I want to print happy new year, right? So Y is already with us. E is already with us. A is already with us. So Y E A is already with us. P is already there, so we can convert into uh, R from P very easily. So, almost all the letters we have, we just need to write the year. So, you all know that how we can do this. Simple, you can write a printf lessons lesson over here. So, here you can just write printf lessons lesson. Now, here you can write for I equal to 1, I less than or equal to 5. I plus plus, so your I will run up to 5. For J equal to 1, J less than or equal to 5, J plus plus, right? But we don't need this J. We can simply write printf slash n. Now we want happy new year, so we need a Y. So where we need printed the Y, this was our Y. So you can simply copy this. And you can paste over here, you will get your Y. So y, your Y will be printed. You can just check your Y first. If your Y is pr properly printed, then and then you can move ahead. So yes, my Y is printed properly. Now I have already E, right? So you can simply copy your E and you can paste your E over here. So you will be able to see that this is your E. So Y E will be printed over here. So, our task is reduced. Here you can see that happy Y E. But what I can see, here some spacing are there. So, if you want to give a spacing over here, then you can give the spacing also. If you don't want to give the spacing over here, then you can simply remove this. So, your spacing will be removed from here. So, if you want to give spacing, then I recommend that give the space at every letter so you it will look properly now after y e we want to print a so a is already with us so what we can do in this particular case we can simply copy a and we can put after printing the e so now you people will be able to see that y e a is printed over here now i want to print r over here so you all know that you, we can convert from P to R very easily. So first we need to get the P. Then we can convert from P to R easily. So I will simply get the P. So P is printed over here after A. So after A, I am simply printing the P. So whenever you print P, you will be able to see over here that I am getting happy new, but it is not year, right? Why? Because I am printing P, so it is not R. Now, how we can convert into R from P? To see here, this is your P. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is your P. Now, you want to convert your P into R. So, how we can convert this? Simple. You can print here two star. That is one here and another one is here. So, what is the condition? Right. I want to print here star. It means if my J is 4 and I is 4. See, this is my J. This is my I. So, if I is 4 and J is 4, then print the star. If I is 5 and J is 5, then print the star. So, if I write the condition I equal equal J, then it will definitely print the star. But what happened? It will print this particular star also. right? And we don't want that particular star. Why? Because here also your I and J will be equal. And that will be to this position. That is true. I is 2 and J is 2. So what we can write in a condition? If I equal equal J, if you write over here, that is here, or if or I equal equal J, then print 
the star my r is printing properly but this star i don't want right see here i am getting this cross line why because this is just because i and j are equal so i don't want this star so condition is very simple just write over here if i equal equal j and and if my j is greater than 3 then and then i want to do this otherwise i don't want to print anything and as a result you people will be able to see that i'm getting the result that is happy new year so that's it from my side